All right, so we want to determine the domain and range of these functions over here and whether uh, these relations are functions or not. So this is just a review of grade 10 and 11 math. Uh, the main thing is you got to know all the different types of functions. And typically, I would sketch them out. It's going to make life a lot easier. You don't have to, but that's what I do. So in this first function over here, our relation, I guess, you know, this is a quadratic relation it's in vertex form i know that my vertex is negative one and negative three and my a value is negative so i know it opens downwards i'm going to sketch it out first and then i'll do the domain and range so for my domain it's going to the left towards infinity it's going towards the right towards infinity so my domain is just all real numbers that's pretty much true for all quadratic functions and my range, I know that my maximum value is negative three. So my range is going to be y is less than equals to negative three. All quadratic relations are functions. So this one is going to be a function as well. But as you can see from the graph, it passes the vertical line test. This second equation over here is an exponential equation and there's no c value which means that our horizontal asymptote is at y equals to zero this function is exponential growth because this value is greater than uh, one so it would normally look like this the negative over here makes it a reflection in the y-axis which means the function is just going to look like this your domain it goes towards negative infinity and positive infinity on the left and right. So I know my domain is all real numbers. And again, this is true for all exponential functions. For my range, I know that all my y values are above the asymptote, which means that y is greater than zero. And again, all exponential relations are functions. So this one is also going to be a function as well. Third one here is a reciprocal function. For reciprocal functions, you always start with your asymptotes. My vertical asymptote is the solution to the denominator, which is negative three. So x equals negative three. And my horizontal asymptote is a c value, which does not exist, which means my horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. There are no reflections, so it's just your original reciprocal function that looks like this. And for our domain, our domain is just x is all real numbers such that x cannot equal to negative three, which is my vertical asymptote. And for my range, it's very similar. It's just y cannot equal to zero, which is my horizontal asymptote. Again, this is a function. All reciprocal equations are functions because it'll pass the vertical line test. Next one is a coarse graph. So for this coarse graph, it's been shifted up by one unit. So I know that my axis is going to be one. Draw that out first. And then a regular coarse graph has an amplitude of one over here. So my maximum is going to be two and my minimum is going to be zero. And a coarse graph starts at your maximum. So this is what my coarse graph is going to look like. And it's going to continue forever in both directions. So again, I know my domain is just all real numbers. And again, this is true for all cosine and sine graphs. My range is just y, e, r, such that my minimum value is 0. And my maximum value is 2. So y is between 0 and 2. And again, all cos and sine functions are functions because they pass the vertical line test. Next one over here, if you can recognize this, this is the equation of a circle. And the radius of the circle is just the square root of this number. So in this case, it's going to be 3. This is what the function looks like. Domain and range are both very similar. My domain is just between negative three and positive three. 
And same thing for my range is just between negative three and positive three. Now, as you can tell, a circle does not pass a vertical line test, so this is not a function. And last one here is just a regular sine graph with an amplitude of two. So sine graph just starts on the axis, goes to the max, min, and continues forever in both directions. Amplitude here is two, so this is two, this is negative two. Domain for all sine functions is just all real numbers because it will go in both directions infinitely. And then your range is just between your minimum value is negative two and your maximum value is positive two. And again, all sine functions are functions. So this one is going to be a function. And as you can see, it passes the vertical line test.